Hello and welcome back to Electricity Frenzy, your go-to channel for everything related to electricity. Today we're going to talk about a very important topic that affects almost everyone. Is voltage drop killing your refrigerator? Let's get started. Low Voltage Effect on Refrigerator First, let's talk about the effect of low voltage on your refrigerator. A voltage drop occurs when there is a decrease in voltage between the source and the load. This can be caused by many factors such as distance from the source, wire size, and excessive demand on the power grid. When a refrigerator experiences low voltage, it can cause many problems. The compressor in the refrigerator requires a certain amount of voltage to function properly. If the voltage drops below the required level, the compressor will not function properly and may even fail. In addition, low voltage can cause the refrigerator to not cool properly, which can result in spoiled food and increased electricity bills. It can also cause the refrigerator to run more frequently, which can lead to faster wear and tear and ultimately shorten its lifespan. What causes a voltage drop in your home? Now that we know how voltage drop affects your refrigerator, let's talk about the causes of voltage drop in your home. Voltage drop can be caused by several factors, including distance from the power source, inadequate wire size, and excessive demand on the power grid. Distance from the power source is one of the most common causes of voltage drop. The farther away you are from the power source, the more voltage drop you will experience. Inadequate wire size can also cause voltage drop. If the wire size is too small for the load, it will cause resistance and result in voltage drop. Finally, excessive demand on the power grid can cause a voltage drop. During peak usage times, such as in the summer when everyone is running their air conditioners, the power grid may not be able to handle the demand, causing voltage drop in homes and businesses. How to check voltage drop in your home Now that we know what causes voltage drop in your home, let's talk about how to check for voltage drop. To check for voltage drop, you will need a digital multimeter. Start by setting the multimeter to the AC voltage setting. Next, plug the multimeter into a power outlet and take a reading. This will give you the voltage at the power source. Then, unplug the multimeter and move to the appliance you want to check. Plug the multimeter into the same outlet as the appliance and take a reading. If the reading is significantly lower than the reading at the power source, you have a voltage drop issue. How to solve voltage drop issue in the home. If you have a voltage drop issue in your home, there are several steps you can take to solve it. One of the easiest and most effective solutions is to install a voltage stabilizer. A voltage stabilizer is a device that regulates the voltage and ensures that your appliances receive the correct amount of voltage, even during times of high demand. Another solution is to replace the wires in your home with larger wires. Larger wires have less resistance and can handle a higher load without experiencing voltage drop. You can also try reducing the load on your power grid by turning off appliances when they're not in use. How to run a refrigerator in a home with voltage drop. Finally, let's talk about how to run a refrigerator in a home with voltage drop. If you have a voltage drop issue in your home, there are a few things you can do to ensure that your refrigerator runs properly. First, make sure to check the voltage at the outlet where your refrigerator is plugged in. If the voltage is significantly lower than the voltage at the power source, you may need to install a voltage stabilizer or replace the wiring in your home. Another solution is to try to reduce the load on the power grid by unplugging other appliances when your refrigerator is running. This will ensure that your refrigerator is receiving the correct amount of voltage and will help it to run more efficiently. In addition, you can also consider purchasing a refrigerator with a built-in voltage stabilizer. This will ensure that your refrigerator always receives the correct amount of voltage, even if there is a voltage drop in your home. In conclusion, voltage drop can have a significant impact on your refrigerator and can even shorten its lifespan. By understanding the causes of voltage drop, how to check for it, and how to solve it, you can ensure that your appliances receive the correct amount of voltage and run more efficiently. Thank you for watching this episode of Electricity Frenzy. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on electricity. See you next time.